We begin with the crisis in Haiti. There's been a potentially critical shift in the political situation, though an end to the violence may still be far off. Haiti's unelected and exiled prime minister has agreed to resign. That is Ariel Henry making the announcement. He said his government will step down once a transitional council is established. CARICOM, the political alliance of 15 Caribbean countries, including Haiti, welcomed the resignation. Reporter Anne-Rose Schoon is in the Haitian capital of Port-au-Prince. She is tracking the latest developments and joins me now live. So, Anne-Rose, welcome. Thank you for your time today. Thank you. Haiti's prime minister says he's done. Has that had any impact at this point on the situation on the ground there? Well, <clears throat> I have to say it was a long night. It was relatively calm. But the last two days was relatively calm, not compared to the madness of last week. But uh, everybody is very tense. It's a very difficult situation. Most of downtown Port-au-Prince is deserted, and the gangs have a stronghold on many parts of the town, as well as the infrastructure, the roads, everything. Will this violence stop? It's difficult to say. A lot of calls are out there to loot the houses of the government members. Will it happen? Nobody knows. What will happen? It's difficult to say. I mean, in Haiti, history it repeats itself, unfortunately, all the time. But this time, it was never so bad like today. I mean, it's, it's very, very difficult, the situation on the ground right now. Will the gang stop? Will they give up the weapons? Definitely not. Will the kidnapping stop? I doubt so. Will there be peace in short time? Who knows? I doubt so. So given all that then, what are you going to be watching for in the days and weeks ahead? Well, first of all, he has to resign. He has promised to resign, uh, but that depends now on the opposition. They have to give the names of the seven members that are supposed to be the council for the government. And they have to do that in the 24, 48 hours. Then we will see what's going to happen. The last promotion of the police was only four months in training instead of nine months. The police is very tired, very outnumbered. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, there is a lot of threats against the multinational force that's supposed to come, like barbecue. One of the gang leaders already said that he will defend his country against any international force. It is a totally open book, and everybody is very scared. Well, we do appreciate uh, your time today and, and sort of going through some of that with us. Anne-Rose Schoon is a journalist. We were speaking with her there in Port-au-Prince. Thank you. Thank you.